Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for another fabric tour. And as you can see, I'm sort of, I'm just easing you in, you know, to the spooky times. I'm not going to throw jack-o'-lanterns at your face like the Headless Horseman, although I really would like to. There is this guy that had a super rich house uh, that lived up above us in Mapleton, Utah. And he had a spooky hollow bridge just like across this little janky river that went to his house. Like, that's how legit this guy was. He was just like, I'm going to spend my money on a freaking bridge that doesn't really need to be there because they could have just filled in the river with like three rocks. Anyway, my kind of guy. Let's start out with this fabric. Look at it shimmer. Look at it shine. Once again, when you walk, this is what's going to be happening. It's sort of like the leaves of the quaking aspens. My favorite tree, P.S. Don't send me roses. Send me a bouquet of quaking aspens. I also like them because they look like they have eyeballs. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? There's these trees in Utah. And they grow in huge clumps, and they are freaking scary. I've loved scary stuff since I was a little kid. Okay, that was a crescent skirt. This is a salsa skirt. This, let's really get into this fabric. We have had this stuff before. It looks like if you dipped a paintbrush in several different layers of color and just marbled it. It is so, so pretty. And from far away, it has this wonderful scaly look. I liked everything in this collection because I wanted it to have, once again, almost a like September dark vibe, not as much black and orange. So this should be good for those of you who like cold colors, which I do. Freak yeah. Did you know what my nickname was Boo when I was a kid? Yeah, long before it was like the name for your boo. Uh, yeah, I was called Boo my whole life, and if you ever hear any of my family talk to me, they will call me Boo. My sister Emma's kids call me Aunt Boo. So, and that was my name from when I was like two. So, I'm the OG Boo. Oh, this stripe. This stripe. Get off the threads. Look, it's a stripe with a damask pattern. Like, almost like a ghost pattern. Isn't that incredible? This is like a... It's almost like a satin finish cotton drapery. It's very, very pretty. Those other two were cotton as well. So, since it's still in the hot season, like, yeah, it is. You, you'll be good. You're covered by me. I am so pleased for all of you that mentioned that this looked like birds on a line. I, I kept thinking, like, man, this reminds me of something. Oh, yeah. Which is, once again, perfect for spooky season. And this has that same shimmery effect. These are crescent skirts. I am making tulip skirts in them, but they are immediately going to be sent to our Ohio show, so... <laughs> Anyhow. I might put it online. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm sending out to the shows. This this year has been crazy. I just none of the vendors have enough stock. You guys are literally such huge supporters. Like I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video. I I apologize if I repeat myself. I love you all. So oh, look at this plaid. This is a plaid crescent skirt. And this plaid's just the perfect like cold colored spooky. Just the perfect plaid. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we got a letter from my vendor director from the Washington Midsummer Fair, which we're doing the last weekend of this week. Woo! She lovingly was like, so vendors, just know that even if you sell out of your product, you still signed a contract that you said you'd physically be here. You know, um, I, th I think in like the common layman's mind, you might think, what the freak? If I, if I sell out, then I can go home. But think about what would happen if that happened <laughs> to every, like, let's, even let's say half of the vendors. What if half the vendors sold out and then like the second weekend people come back and there's like nothing to see? It's a really strange problem to have. I've never seen this before. So like 2020 not only created that vacuum, but now it's like, Whoa! and it's just, man, man. Once again, like, thank you for the support, but I personally know people 
that have sold out. Like their booth is nothing in it, which is, which is amazing. And when they're doing these multi-weekend booths, oh my gosh, it's, it's something else. Anyway, so like, once again, thank you for all the support. That's fantastic. So that was the skirts, P.S. I didn't mention that last one was a salsa skirt. A salsa, uh, our salsa skirts are longer, longer in the back and shorter in the front. Not too short, but you know, usually about knee length on most people. And then probably about ankle length in the back. And they are very full. And they have so many ruffles in there. It's like 600 inches. Oh, ruffles. That was the skirts. Let's move on to the... I was doing blouses first, actually. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. I only had small pieces of these fabrics that I have been hoarding away like a dragon. Can I even? So, because I had small pieces, I didn't have enough that, like, I couldn't have made hardly any stock in blouses, but I thought, wait, I have some stretchy, slinky, solid black fabric. It's it's a lightweight, beautiful, I think it's like a rayon knit. Ooh, so what if I just make a two-tone blouse? But whoa, whoa, whoa. Velvet, velvet just brings its A-game every time. I need to be more like velvet and just be like, I'm here and I literally look so glamorous. Hmm. <laughs> more velvet. In spooky black stripe. I love like the gothicness of this. I would wear this. Come here, little string. I would wear all of this to Disneyland. I keep meaning to go. And then I'm working every second of my life. Except yesterday when I went out on a walk to go look at the pumpkin patch. If you didn't see a video of that and you need some Halloween goodness in your life, just look at my Facebook because you'll you'll feel the love. Okay, this, man, okay, okay, I need to like put this lace against something. This lace has like almost a 1930s print. I am enamored because it's sort of scalloped looking. You can see it on my pictures, pictures. It's very, very beautiful. So it's navy blue and then it's black in the bottom. Come on, guy. I'm just trying to show you how it looks like, because I just wore it on my skin over my bra and it looked freaking awesome so there you go there you go thank you light thank you light for like stepping up your, your game me and my sister natalie who works for me spent last night sending like the most b-wordy halloween hating texts back and forth halloween hating you say yes because i am very much into the aesthetic as you can tell oh my gosh speaking of Bones Coffee makes the best swag I've ever seen. Look, it's a skeleton sailor with his mermaid girlfriend. And I, this one was a ladies tee. I just followed the line of the scoop neck and I cut it a little bit lower because I still felt like it was a little bit suffocating because I'm always warm. And then I bleach dyed it. So to bleach dye something, to give it like that spooky spooky, all you do is you like wad it up and put some rubber bands around it. Oh, it needs to get wet first. And then take bleach toilet bowl cleaner and let it sit there for however long you want. Mine literally probably sat there for 20 minutes. I didn't want it to be too bleached, but look at that color. This is like me if I were a color. I'm this, but velvet in this color. Oh my gosh. So anyway, that was my quick non-sponsored break for Bones Coffee. Even though I don't drink coffee. Not that I don't want to, it's a religious thing. Why? Mormons, why? Coffee? Hey, back to the corsets. Perfect, perfect, spooky season. Ooh, looks like there are branches blowing in the trees, silvery branches. Now this does have, I don't know if I can get it, the slightest metallic effect, which is really, really awesome. So good. This, Snow Leopard, whatever, big cat vibes. This is one of my favorites that I've ever had. I know, if you're like an animal print person, you know, and you just, you know, but if you're not, I understand, I respect that. I think it's usually fiery women with a bone to pick that are, that are like the leopard print girlfriends. That was a cropped cordier. 
this is a Vixen corset. Oh crap, you know what? I was I had I had a great idea, actually. Give me a second. Come here, girlfriend. Alright, let me get this set up. Okay, okay. So for the corsets, I was going to assume that not everyone knows literally everything about my company, which I'm like, please. <laughs> I think about it all the time so I can't imagine like people not knowing everything so I was going to I can't lace them up I don't have the dang time but I'll show you really quick what they look like on a mannequin so that's our wench corset they lace up like that beautiful beautiful these are 12 inches in the front 11 inches on the side 13 inches in the back boning 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 and it's seven pieces of boning hey 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 fiberglass rods in the front you can't do anything to these Go ahead and try. Bring it on. Run it over with a car! Okay, cropped cordier. My girlfriend. So this is a cropped piece. That's how it looks alone. It would be very cute alone. Think of you if you were like, even like preggers and just wanted to put a little bit of wild into your costumes. That'd be awesome. So relieved that I... But I'm done with the childbearing years. That was, I have four kids, and like for some of you who don't know, kids, oh my gosh, this week they started school. My little seven-year-old Leaf, uh, well, he biffed it on the skateboard because he always wants, this is a Vixen corset, P.S. Look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous. He biffed it on the skateboard and he broke his collarbone. I feel so terrible. This is like a bad moment as a parent because I didn't know, like, I mean, he was very like, traumatized and crying and everything, but I didn't know that it was a broken bone. He was holding his arm weird, and he, he couldn't really move it, but I was like, he's a, he's a dramatic kid. Like, he has the loudest shriek I've ever heard come out of a human being. I've tried to make the noise that he makes. It's not possible with my vocal cords. Like, he has a gift. And it's funny because I think because he shrieked so much all from being a little kid, now he has this funny little scratchy voice and everything he says, he says in the most adorable, like, mom. <laughs> he sounds like a little growling animal and I love, love, love him. He's like the class clown of my family. He's so freaking funny. So I feel terrible that I, I held off a couple days on taking him to the doctor because you just, you don't know. And you know, if you go there and they're like, all right, we'll let him rest. That'll be $700. It's like, my gosh, Ugh, the medical system. So this is our black medallion fabric. This is a peplum attached into the Vixen. Sorry guys, I know that a lot of you like them detachable and I love and respect you. But while I'm doing shows, you know, <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Well, I'm doing shows. I have to make a lot of pieces that are like all inclusive. I have noticed that if I try to do this skirted piece as a detachable piece that you tie on first and then put the corset on, people don't get it at shows and they don't want to be buying multiple pieces. And I know there's some of you that do, duh. Like I'm not speaking for the majority, but I've been doing this for 18 years. I think I know what I'm talking about. That was really sassy, sorry. I'm a nice person. Yeah, so Leaf broke his collarbone. And the first day of school, we finally were just like, we, we got to take him into the hospital. We, ugh. Anyway, so so now he has this thing. It's It looks like a holster that like policemen wear for like holding their guns on the side. You know, it's like that sexy little mm -mm, like winter soldier look. So he has this like bad A looking holster that he's wearing around and he, it feels pretty cool. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear the spooky noises? I, I wish that the sound that comes in from the shop was better. I was going to do this whole video yesterday because guess what? This is a tin roof and it was raining. It was like pouring rain yesterday. And if you don't know the sound of rain on a tin roof, have you even lived? I say nay. Alrighty. Hooded Vixen, so this is underbust cut. It has a hood attached. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, look at you, glamorous girlfriend. Good, 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 good. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alrighty. 
another hooded vixen in our navy and silver, which was sort of the inspo fabric for this week. Once again, wanted to go dark and dreary, but not full on dark and dreary. More September vibes. Like we're getting there. Okay, here's the hood. Something about this base color of blue really makes this silver stand out so beautifully. I mm, this this one's real, real delicious. We have this in black and silver too, and I I have been asking my fabric supplier about getting me a green and silver for years, and I don't think there's enough demand for it. Um, I thought about telling him like if you can get your manufacturer in China, because all the fabric mills move to China, oh well, sorry, Murka. If you can get your manufacturer in China to make green and silver, I will buy, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think, maybe like 5,000 yards. I would, oh my gosh, I might have to take like a second mortgage out of my house, because that would be so expensive. The fabric's already insanely expensive. Having it made is probably marks. <laughs> Anyway, I'll keep praying to the fabric gods. Keep believing, everybody. Okay, funny story. I didn't mean to do the little hooks on, on this style. I was just plowing through, getting crap done. I was like, okay, all these crop pieces need the hooks so they can hook the pockets on. Okay, go, go, go. And then suddenly I thought, oh crap. No, this, this brush stroke fabric was supposed to be, oh, hello, big vehicle out there. This was supposed to be a freaking, freaking, um, the, the, the birch vixen and so i like i still think it looks cool if i would have been putting hooks on purposefully i would have done these in maybe a lighter color so they wouldn't maybe stand out but it's fine probably because then you can hook pocketies and trinkety things on there but normally i wouldn't do this style it, it takes a lot of time to hooks hooks so so but this is this style again that has sort of a point in the back a soft point that comes down to a leaf shape. It's very beautiful. Honoring my son leaf there. If you couldn't tell that I love that nature. This one, I honestly think is very cute worn alone. I think it uh, just, just looks fantastic. Especially with like leggings, boots, this. I'm a fan. So, silver brush stroke fabric. Depth, gorgeousness. I'm always so pleased that people, like no matter who you are, when you fill my product, you can tell that it's nice. Like nobody's gonna be like, yeah, but is it? If, if they feel it, they're like, oh, oh. I mean, it would be like the difference between feeling like cheap plastic and like cast iron. And you'd be like, oh, holy crap. Ah, the inside color of the lips, no. I just noticed that, <laughs> it breaks my heart. I wish I was better wearing black lipstick. Oh, holy potty words. This video is getting out of control. I was playing on 10 minutes, not freaking 20. Sorry, friends. Crop Cordier. I guess this this is taking longer than I thought to show it on a mannequin. Hopefully that's worth it. Crop Cordier, navy and silver. Yeah, feedback is always appreciated. If it's like, no, Michelle, literally. I was going to swear off buying from you forever until I saw you put it on the mannequin and do the fabric stuff this way. And then I joined the, the cult again. I don't know. Wench corset. This is actually our grunge fabric in a gray. So, hmm, hello, hello. This would be a very good sort of base spooky color piece. Once again, if you don't want to go all the way black, like, I think you'll be surprised at how well gray treats you. You're gonna like it. All right, I got two Sergeant Pepper vests. I have very small stock on these. I literally have maybe just small, medium, large on both of them. I am very sorry, they were cut. We had our whole table. When we cut everything, we have a uh, fabric saw, and so everything is stacked up. And we cut a whole batch, and then we still had some of the table left with all the fabric stacked up, ready to cut into something. And so I was like, well, we'll just friggin' do this. Anyway, this was the gray from my Jurassic Park sort of vibes collection, my dinosaurs. And I also did have this fabric previous as well in our Spill the Tea collection. So this one's cool. It has like a jaunty, yeah, I, I feel like this would be so pretty for like a ghost pirate. Oh, 
What? What? Speaking of ghost pirates, me and my kids watched Jungle Cruise last night. Disney, what are you doing? I don't know. I, I just felt like it was such a blatant sort of sad little rip off just trying so hard to be Pirates of the Caribbean again it was like oh okay um yeah so so people like it when there's like this rogue guy um and and they and yeah and they uh, also so it was basically like just Pirates of the Caribbean and the mummy had a child with Dwayne's face and Emily Blunt's beautiful face and then it was the Jungle Cruise because it even I don't know I'm, I'm not gonna give spoilers but suffice it to say I wasn't impressed. It was, I don't know. Just not my jam. This is a damsel corset. It is untied. I don't know why. <laughs> damsel corset. This is a very classic sort of squared off neckline. Good for Renaissance wear. Especially if you, some of the festivals have rules that you have to wear stuff that is over the bust versus under the bust. I believe it is because, quote, period, correct. But from some of the stuff that I see that... No, I'm not going to go there. I don't need to be mean. Oh my gosh, back to my thing where me and my sister send mean texts. We find gross, ugly Halloween decorations that we think are like <coughs> horrible. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I said gross and I felt something in my throat. And I was like, oh, that's how grossed out I was by this Frankenstein inflatable that was a baby, like with a pacifier. All right, my throat. I'm just taking a few seconds. <coughs> I don't want to cough. I'm so grossed out. I'm so sorry. And I can't take time to edit this because I still have stuff to do today. Profanity. Okay. This beaut is a wench corset. It looks like waves in the salty cold sea. I love that one. Frankenstein inflatable baby with a pacifier that you'd put in your yard. It was like, oh, look, baby spooky Frankenstein. It was so freaking ugly. I hate, I was like, babies in Halloween decor? No! I was so angry about it. And I showed it to my sister. I was like, look at this little piece of trash. And she was like, that single-handedly ruined Halloween. And we were, we were being like all catty and finding, catty, what? Which course that? Bing the leopard anyway and then we found this other the stupidest looking stupid trash ever it was like a green like like tubby frankenstein and he had teeth like mater and it was like <laughs> and like ah. it's weird because there is a collection called halloween hoedown at at home stores and the Halloween hoedown is actually pretty cute. It's like skeletons driving like old country bumpkin trucks full of pumpkins. Those are cute. But like if you go too far into like making Halloween like old time Halloween, I, I can't even with that. It needs to stay pure. So don't be messing with. I'm still, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get violent over this like ring of not black. Why my life? Why? Okay, thanks for watching. Holy crap. Oh, no, it's so long. Okay, well, thanks, friends. Have a lovely Thursday. Enjoy the spooky atmosphere. I'm really planning on bringing my A-game to you guys this Halloween season. I'll, I guess I'll do an okay job at Christmas, whatever Christmas. But Halloween, I'm here for you, friends. So thank you, guys.